Well, uh, Derek Chisora did exactly what he said he was going to do. He was going to come, come for war, and uh, he, he brought the heat as he said he would. Um, Dylan White also, they both went to war. It was a fantastic fight. We said it was going to be round 13 from the first round, and we did, we did not lie. There was, uh, there was no feeling each other out. There was no uh, easing into the rounds. It was just straight back to war, and every person got their value for money. Every person who paid for Sky Box Office has uh, got more than their money's worth, and um, you know, that's, it's an entertainment. It's an entertainment sport, and people were truly entertained. Um, I'm very proud of Derek. He's dedicated his life uh, solely to this training camp, and I think the, uh, there was no lying on the ropes, recovering. He went out there and put it all on the line for his fans, for his family, for himself, and he he, he, he covered himself in glory. Um, he was bettered by uh, Dylan White. You know, I. Uh, the, the game plan was, was, was working perfectly, he was, he was pushing the pace, he wasn't taking a backward step. Um, I don't know what the second point deduction was for, from my angle I didn't see what was it, what was it for? Headbutting. The second point was for headbutting? Huh? I, I, I didn't see what that was, um, but whatever it was for, it seemed, you know, in a tight fight like that, you know, Derek, if it, it felt from ringside that, you know, uh, Derek needed to really do something and it seemed he, he uh, started trading and he got caught with a beautiful left hook. One of the best, as I said before the fight, Dylan has one of the best, look, best left hooks in the business and it, it landed perfectly and he's, he's the victor. Um, but once I said, very, very proud of Derek and uh, I'd love him to say how he feels about the, the situation. Oh, it was a great fight. <coughs> it was a great fight. I enjoyed it uh, from round one to until it ended. With a good left hook. Uh, well, you know, in boxing, it is. am I upset with this uh, loss I got now? No, I'm not really because uh, when you get knocked out, it's much better than losing on points. Uh, uh, you know, fair, fair, fair dues to my opponent because when he chucked his shot, I, I was chucking one, he was chucking one, he's landed first. And that was it. I found myself on the floor. Uh, I'm not really annoyed about it, but I was enjoying the fight. Derek, you've always managed to come back from uh, setbacks in the past through your career. Do so again, and would you like a rematch? No, I don't know. You know what? Uh, yeah, we'll bounce back. We'll see. Uh, you know, we. I know right now he's gonna fight AJ. Or there's there's fights out there. You know why? Uh, it's not like I lost a terrible loss or it was a crappy fight or anything like that. It's a great fight. I enjoyed it. You know, I just got caught with the left hook, and that was it. And I was checking my left hook as well. So, uh, oh yeah, we'll come back. Derek, that, that was a horrible knockout. There's no chance you consider it at the time. Nah, not yet. Get hit on the chin, it don't matter. You're just gonna get, you're just gonna go on the floor. Derek, what happens now? Do you have to go to hospital for a check at all tonight? No, 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 no. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I'm good. Did you feel like you were ahead of the fight before the finish? Uh, they had me winning, but the fight apparently did they have me winning? Yeah. Two of the scorecards had you one up and one had you one down with the two points deducted, so that shows shows how the fight was playing out. David, part of you tempted to tell Derek to consider retiring? Fuck that shit, man. My, my job is to, I work, for, I work for Derek. Derek tells me what he wants to do, and it's my job to facilitate that the best way do I can. Do you want me to retire? <laughs> yeah? You say I yes. No, go away, man. Every time everybody sees failure, they think everybody should retire. You know, that's a, that's 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 a disease we have in Great Britain. When you see failure, you'd be like, oh, you have to retire because you've seen failure. No, keep going. You know, uh, you just keep going and, and until you, you go and go until you can't go anymore. So I don't think so. Take we're, we're all taken aback by your shape yesterday, Derek. We're really, really impressed and given the heavyweight division now. There's bound to be options as well early in the new year. Oh, yeah. yeah.
Oh, sorry, Bob. De Derek, uh, for the first time, has, has put his body through what, what a professional, world-class athlete needs to. And I think it was very evident from the pace that he set. And um, obviously, coulda, woulda, shoulda, if that shot wouldn't have landed. You know, he, he, wasn't, he was, wasn't out of steam and he set a, a crazy pace and he could have done that for 12 rounds. Um, if he continues to box, um, he's only going to get better. You know, many fighters have been stopped. Uh, Lennox Lewis was stopped with one shot. You know, uh, Vladimir Klitschko, it happens. Um, the one thing you can't question is, is Derek's heart and he's improving. You know, so you know, he needs to take some time, take some time off, enjoy his family. You know, he's, he's, he's punished himself in training and we all got the, uh, the benefits of that in tonight. You know, and Dylan White, you have to give him a hell of a lot of credit because he, he, he fought at a pace. You know, he was, he was losing up until that point. So you have any, anybody who can come back from uh, behind to, to score a knockout, you, you can do nothing but give them the utmost respect and credit. And uh, they're beautiful dancing partners. They, you know, they could fight 10 times and you may get different decisions each time. You know, the first fight was different from this fight, but they were all exciting. And every single person in the O2 arena, every single person who subscribed to the Sky Box Office, got their money's worth and that's what boxing is all about. Derek, just to go back to a question a while back um, when you asked about whether you want a rematch, I mean, I wasn't clear what your answer was there. Is that something you would want down the line, maybe not next fight, but... Yeah, something? yeah, 100%. You know, there's a third one in there, people, the public want to see, yeah, we'll do it. You down on 20 or rounds? Sorry, I can't hear you. You down on 20 or rounds with Hey, listen. I think everybody deserves a world title shot. If you're standing, you know, you, you, I said this before, man. I think Dylan was supposed to get a world title shot. You know, when he wanted to with WBC. You know, it's been two years now. You know, uh, I don't know why he hasn't boxed for it. You know, but I think he deserves a shot. Everybody deserves their shot, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, it's boxing. Anyone is good enough to win anything. Did the point deductions from the referee did that bother you? What did you think of that during the fight itself? <coughs> Mate, you know what? This is why I, I said this before, man. You know, uh, something was about to go wrong. You know, the ref, you know, three points. You know, uh, so I thought I was, ch I was chasing the fight. You know, my coach told me stay in shape. You know, uh, and then uh, I just went gun blazing, and I caught and I caught the wrong end of the, of the gun blazing, basically. And it was a pretty open fight anyway, but were you actually chasing it? I thought, I thought, I my 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 mind just thought, you know what? I'm down on three points. They've taken three points of me. I'm down now. I have to go and chase it. That was it. You know. It was, the British public loved it. Fans at home loved it. It was a great fight. Can I ask both of you what you think about Joshua saying he's made not fight White next? He wants to smile or such. Do you think it should be White next after that? I think uh, Dylan after D Dylan's last three fights, uh, um, Lucas Brown, uh, Joseph Parker, and. Uh, Derek Tazora, he, out of any of the contenders outside of uh, AJ um, Fury and Wilder, I believe he's he's the, the he's proven that he's he deserves the next shot at a title. Which one it is is, is not my business, but I don't I can't see any other heavyweights outside of Dylan right now who deserves a world title shot more than he does because he's put it on the line. He didn't have to fight um, tonight, but he did. And he, and, he, and he did great. Yeah, he deserves it, man. But I think everybody wants to see that fight. Uh, Deontay Wilder and AJ. You know, uh, and then if that happens, and then you got Fury in the mix as well. So, uh, yeah, I keep saying this again, man. Eddie has to fight for for, Deion, for, 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 Deion, for Dylan to fight for a world title now. If, if, if Derek wants to continue boxing, 
if he wants to continue to learn and progress. He learned a lesson here tonight. You know, when if you if you if you feel uh, if you have points deductive, you don't have to automatically chase it, and that's what he felt like he was doing. If the same thing ever happened again, he'd have learned that lesson, and the same thing won't happen again. So life's about learning, and you know, we can talk about how to improve if he if he wants to continue, which it clearly sounds like he does. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'll help Eric as, as much as he needs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.